Here's my first guest. She's an Academy Award winner and an Emmy Award winner. Uh, she's known for her roles, as I mentioned earlier, and things like What's Love Got to Do With It? She's so nice, I gotta say it twice. That was a good movie. Damn right. It was a good movie. Malcolm X. The Rosa Parks story. I could go on and on, but we want to talk to her, ladies and gentlemen. This is Angela Magnus. She got the muscles, man. Don't fuck with this lady. I, I, I hope you were watching when I said your name. I did this. Yeah, I saw that. And look at you. <laughs> okay, look now. at you. Oh, five you days. Oh, thank you for having me. Oh, but we talked about this at the Hollywood Bowl. Mm -hmm. And uh, we did a gig at the Hollywood Bowl together. And I was so excited that night. But I'm even more excited because you wore a sleeveless top. Oh, yeah. Just a little bit. <laughs> Remember noticing your arm. That's the point of uh, Daisy Duke. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like it when they were happening, right? Like those Daisy Dukes. Uh, I remember noticing your arms, and uh, uh, it was during uh, What's Love Got to Do With It? That's when you train, but how do you keep it? Well, I mean, I still do a little training, not like that, because that was about 10, 12 hours a day. Mm -hmm. And um, I think a little bit, you know, some of it's got to be genetics. I think we all got something, you know, got some, you know, beautiful eyes or, you know, a lovely smile, something, beautiful hair. I just happen to have arms. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, speaking of strong, you, 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 your per, the persona of your characters, always strong women. Tina Turner, mm -hmm. who wins it a lot, mm -hmm. and uh, Rosa Parks. Mm -hmm. Betty Shabazz. Right, right. Uh, do you pick those roles intentionally? I'd like you to play somebody weak who works at the pet shop. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be interested in doing that too, yeah. But um, um, I, I think they're strong, but they also have this quality of vulnerability, and so that's what I always, you know, look for in a character. Because we're, we're neither one thing. You know, we're resilient. We, you know, there are moments when, you know, our strength, you know, comes to the surface. There are moments when we doubt ourselves. And, you know, when we talk to people, sometimes we're amazed that they, they feel self-doubt because of, you know, how we how we view them, how we see them, how we imagine them. Yeah. But it's, it's human nature, it's human. But um, I like, I do love the idea of surviving and making it through. You know, life yeah. is so hard and so, so much stuff comes at you, but you know, if you just determine and make up your mind that you can make it, that it comes, it passes, you know, no matter what, it, and you're never the only one who's ever gone through it. You know, um, uh, you know some some aspects of life, you know, that are real tough. You know, we've heard of uh, young people, and you know, in this business in Hollywood, who've who've uh, recently have taken their lives. You know, they've become so overwhelmed by by life and its choices. But it's never a choice because there's strength in each and every one of us. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Um, Is there a Rosa or a Tina or a Betty in you? Are, 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 are you close to any of those women in real life? Is Angela close to any of those women? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, Tina's move lives far, far away. You know, but last time I saw her, you know, she was very kind to me. She said, you know, you played me well. Mm -hmm. You know, of course, when we were doing the movie, she she claimed she had never seen it. She, yes. It wasn't entertainment for her. Oh, she, yeah. had, she had lived this life. Yes. But later on, you know, after a few years, she, she, was, she did see the movie, and she enjoyed it, and she, you know, she said that to me, so I appreciated that. And I did have an opportunity to meet Rosa Parks, you know, before she passed, and she was a lovely, lovely woman. You know, we were on a dais together, and she was like, the fruit salad's delicious, isn't it? Yeah. Like, yes, it is, Miss Parks. Um, and, of course, I've met Katherine Jackson, who's mm. lovely. And I forgot about that. Yeah. You and Lawrence Hilton Jacobs, you got to play on VH1 eight times a day. <laughs> and I watch it seven. <laughs> they do tend to play it. But, uh, 
Yeah, all, all of them I had the, you know, opportunity to meet, and I've just been, you know, humble to be able to portray them, and that it's been received so well, and like you say, sometimes it, it still plays on. Mm -hmm. I want to take a commercial because the next thing I want to talk to you about is very, very important. You went someplace that I only got to watch on TV. We'll be right back. <laughs> Wow, three legends.
to go to the March on Washington and to be here with you your, during your first week. Wow. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. You guys, I really appreciate that. I mean, my anniversary is coming up, and I might not be able to get that off, but, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that when we get to it. But, yeah, I took them, and um, my son, you know, John Lewis came out. He's one of the Freedom Riders, and he made his speech, and he left the dais, then President Barack came up, and my son, you know, I'm talking to them before we get there, hopefully so they can be cool in the White House, just trying to put a little bit in, a little bit in, you know, day, each day, each day, because I don't want them to misbehave, and, and we want applause, applause when our president steps up to the podium, to the microphone, and we're on the side, my son just said, She has a sight line, and she, before he speaks, she taps him and says, oh, young man, young man. So the president looks at Slater and Broadway and he says, hello, young man, how are you doing? And, of course, Slater remembers it differently. He's like, hey, dude, what's up? I said, I don't At seven years, I don't think he said, hey, dude. Yeah. But uh, it was a great experience and a teachable moment. And, and they, you know, they're of an age. This week we had Nas here, and I know you and Nas and Forrest, I think, are working Forrest on Forrest Whitaker, yes, Black Nativity, a uh, uh, film that I'm really proud of and so excited. Did a little ADR that's looping some of the extra dialogue work yesterday. So I actually got to see a little bit of it. It looks beautiful. And uh, Casey Lemons directed it, our director, and wrote it uh, based on a, a play by Langston Hughes. And uh, so, I mean, it's great. Nas, uh, Tyrese. Jennifer Hudson, uh, great uh, Jacob Lattimore, who's a young young talent, 16 years old. Um, he plays he plays our my grandson. <laughs> here we are. Yeah, here here we go. go. Yeah. Here here goes goes time. Time. Yeah. Yeah. You all check out American Horror Story, and uh, October 9th. October 9th. October 9th at 10 p.m. on FX. Let me get it all yeah, in there. You. Thanks all for being here. This is Andrew. <laughs> Oh. Later, the Toyota Music Performance with Emblem 3. Toyota, let's go places. I 
actually worked there. You know how they have those big beers that are, and the, <laughs> I was an idiot and put them all on one tray for a party of ten. And I'm a strong girl, like, I don't know if you can see under the leather, but, um, you know, but I couldn't, uh, I couldn't carry it all the way to the table, and so I spilled all over the party of ten, the entire thing of beers. Oh, the first night, I you, cried in the bathroom, and you, it was horrible. You don't get a big I lasted, after. I think, like two months after that, and then I was like, I'm going to be a tutor and help children. I think that's more of my, <laughs> my thing. You know, I, I saw you interviewed once, and you talked about being a nanny. Yes, yes. I was a nanny up until I was, I was still a nanny when I was doing the pilot, Two Broke Girls, actually. I worked for a great family um, here in Los Angeles. There were three. And now they're all grown up and on Instagram, and I totally stalk them all the time on Instagram and, like, make sure they're doing okay. Yeah. <laughs> but, I, yeah, it, they were great. I, I, you're not supposed to ask women this, but you're young. How old are you? I am, um, yes, Arsenio. <laughs> um, I am a, I'm a ripe 27 year old. Yeah. <laughs> Were you a good nanny? I would like, I think so. Yeah, I hope so. you were a horrible waitress. So. True. Yes, yeah. no, I was much better, I think. Unless, you know, the kids are going to call you later and tell you I wasn't. Yeah. But I think, I think I was a good well, nanny. Yes, you invited the three kids. No, oh, I was like, oh, my God. Did you come out here and call you a liar? Uh, <laughs> Look me from Instagram. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Unfollow. <laughs> Sound of music. You and I have something in common. I, I, I love classics. You do? I love sound of music. My favorite is Chuck Piston's The Ten Commandments, but I hear you like sound of music. Sound of music is my favorite. I'm, I'm happy you like it because my boyfriend couldn't get through it. He was like, is this when Nazis come? And I'm like, babe, it's not about, it is about, but it's not. I sing, yeah. she's singing. He's like, this is boring. <laughs> um, yeah, I love the sound of music. It was like the movie that made me want to be an actress. I used to act oh, it out really? in my living room over and over again. My parents were like, you should probably do something with this five-year-old who's <laughs> like... Yeah, did you spin around? I did, and on the staircase I would do like the, the sun has got, like the little girl who goes up the stairs, and yeah, well, yeah. actually, I invited Julie Andrews. Well, to I uh, <laughs> That's Have you ever met her? I actually, I was lucky enough to meet her. I, I got called in for an audition to sing for a Rodgers and Hammerstein tour, and she happened to be there, and I didn't know, and so this woman looked up from a baseball cap and was like, hello, dear, and I was singing her songs, like, and I had to audition for her, but she was wonderful, and um, they, I didn't end up getting a part, but she took my whole family backstage, and my whole family got to meet her after the show, and it was wonderful. She's everything I hoped she'd be, and more. Well, because, because it doesn't always happen that way. Sometimes you can meet somebody, and you're like, oh, I idolized him, and he's such a... Richard. <laughs> He's a big Richard. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, that's cool. Have you ever met somebody that you love and when you meet him, you, uh, well, maybe I shouldn't ask this question, but, uh, <laughs> you, know? you know, I've actually been pretty lucky. Everyone, I mean, until tonight, obviously, when we just met backstage uh -huh. and had that whole interaction. <laughs> Marin County? It is part of the Miss America program. Uh -huh. um, and I had never done a pageant before in my life. They were having the pageant at the college where my dad worked and he saw a scholarship competition for scholarship money. But, well, yeah, let's help out with the college tuition. Uh, and so I ended up doing it and I won, so then I had to go to Miss California. Um, but I made all this money for college and I had to walk in heels across stage, which prepared me for tonight. Yes. And met a lot of lovely girls that I still keep in touch with and it, I ended up making a lot of money for school, so it was... That's cool. You, you know that part that we always see in the news where, where women end up with a faux pas of not being able to answer a question really well? How did you do in that portion? Actually, I think that my question at the time was something that we hadn't rehearsed. It was something that I, uh, that it, it came out of nowhere, but I think I answered it okay. Yeah, you did good. I mean, the talent, I did a comedic song, which um, apparently at Miss America, most girls sing opera and cry, and that's what wins the judges over. But I was like, da 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 da, like doing something comedic, and I could just see the judges like, all right, poise, beauty, grace, <laughs> I don't know. Hey, uh, a, a stand up comic. Buddy of mine created your show. Please tell Whitney I said hello. I will. She's amazing. Yeah. I can tell that you two would be good buddies. She's, she's a good writer. Fan. We good oh, buddies because she's fantastic. I admire her. Her pen. Her pen is sick. And she's a hard worker too. She's the best. Yes. Please thank Beth for being here, and I'll be back with the musical performance. <laughs>